Hey, Omnibus Collectors, this is Riley. Uh, this is a second shoot of my first video that I made, plus an extension um, of that. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and start to make videos, hopefully once every couple weeks or whenever I get a new package in the mail of what I'm ordering, what I'm reading. So I'm going to go uh, through the past couple of boxes of comics that I've gotten, uh, and I just got a couple new things in the mail today. Uh, <clears throat> so I order my comics, this is a little plug, off of InStockTrades.com. Uh, they give 45% off of a lot of the stuff that they're selling, and in the first week a lot of the bigger books, a lot of the Omnibuy, are 50% off. Uh, and they just started shipping internationally. I don't know what the shipping charges are on that, but uh, domestically, shipping is free after you spend $50. So anyway, here's what I've been reading. Uh, I've got, this one's not a big volume at all, but I think it's an important book. Uh, this is the Thanos Infinity Abyss. This book, uh, the previous print of it was extremely hard to find, very out of print. And luckily, uh, since Marvel has been focusing more on Thanos in the cinematic universe and also with uh, Jonathan Hickman's Infinity event, uh, they've reprinted pretty much every cosmic event, um, meaning a lot of those hard-to-find books like this one or the Thanos 12-issue uh, ongoing series that was written by Jim Starlin and Keith Giffen, uh, those have been reprinted. Uh, which is really cool for collectors like myself or some of y'all who really want to have a nice solid collection of all those, uh, you know, Jim Starlin and beyond uh, cosmic events and whatnot. So I'm happy that this book came out. Uh, it's it's not expensive. It's only a six issue miniseries. I'm about halfway through right now. Um, all right, moving on. And then I've got the. Uh, this is the Wolverine by uh, Larry Hama and uh, Mark Silvestri, book two. Uh, book one came out a few months ago. Uh, I was a while ago searching through basically like the creators on every single issue of Wolverine and I wanted to figure out you know what kind of omnibus could be put together and I found out that a lot of Wolverine Volume 2 was never collected, Volume 2 being after the four-issue miniseries. Uh, it was like 180-something issues, I believe, and around half of those issues were actually written by Larry Hama, and none of his issues were collected. The only stuff of his that was collected were the Weapon X uh, materials that were put with uh, the Age of Apocalypse omnibus. So I was really excited to find out that they were going to start doing these, uh, you know, Wolverine by Hama and Silvestri collections. Now this is the second one. The first one had a lot of cool material in there. You get some stuff with a patch, the Wolverine with an eye patch. Uh, I haven't looked at this much. I haven't flipped through it much or read it at all. But you know, you get a lot of nice Mark Silvestri. The the, you know, you get the brown Wolverine costume in here. Nice classic look right there. So the first volume was fun. I'm looking forward to reading this one. Um, if you're a fan of Wolverine, I recommend jumping on this series of releases. Now I've got X-Men, The Road to Onslaught. I've never read Onslaught. I've heard mixed things about Onslaught. But uh, currently, if, if you know me at all, um, you know that I'm trying to collect every X-Men collection and have a full solid run of the Uncanny X-Men and most of those books are coming out from Marvel in uh, the oversized hardcovers uh, set, or the omnibus books such as the Age of Apocalypse omnibus or the Uncanny X-Men omnibuy by uh, Chris Claremont but then some of them get non-omnibus treatment like Follow the Mutants or Inferno and then a lot of the stuff is just coming out in paperbacks. Uh, this is one of those things that's coming out in paperbacks. It says Volume 1 in the corner here. Uh, there is a solicited Volume 2. Uh, I'm guessing, and I've been saying this for a while, that 
Marvel is getting ready to put out a Onslaught Omnibus. Uh, it would make sense because they are leading up to, in Rick Remender's Uncanny Avengers series, a uh, it's called the Red Onslaught is what they're referring it to, uh, where the Red Skull, I guess, is uh, empowered by the Onslaught being, and he takes over. So uh, I'm going to guess that sometime this year they're going to put out an Onslaught Omnibus and these paperback Road to Onslaught um, are kind of leading up to that. If it is an Omnibus it would have been nice to have this you know Road to Onslaught stuff in oversized hardcovers but as long as we get some of this which a lot of these issues are never before collected um, so it's nice to get some sort of collection of that. Uh, I haven't really flipped through this much at all, and I'm honestly not going to be reading this anytime soon because I'm holding off on reading a bunch of those X-Men books until I have a nice, solid collection. <clears throat> so uh, it'll be a while before I actually have any word on my thoughts on that book. Uh, next I have Ex Machina, which is uh, Brian K. Vaughn, who's currently doing... Saga, who did Why the Last Man, <clears throat> he, uh, this is one of his books from not too long ago. It was published by DC's Wildstorm imprint, but Wildstorm's gone, so now DC's put it out under their Vertigo imprint. This paperback collects, I think it's the first year worth, uh, let me check exactly the issue count. It's issues 1 through 11 of the series. I don't recall how many issues there are total. Um, there are some oversized hardcovers that collect about this same amount per volume of the entire series, I believe. I haven't looked much into it, but this is cheaper, and I think those are kind of hard to find. So I jumped on this. Uh, I haven't read it at all yet, but I, I really love Brian K. Vaughn, so I'm hoping that that goes well. Another paperback. Uh, this is the first half of Brian K. Vaughn's Swamp Thing run, which he has, uh, Alec Holland's, uh, daughter as the main character, uh, Tefe Holland. I used to own the single issues of this series. I never read it. Uh, and then as soon as I saw they were releasing the paperbacks, because this has never been collected before, um, I decided I had snatched that up and I sold those singles. Uh, it, it looks really good. I love Swamp Thing. I love Brian K. Vaughn, like I said before, so I'm looking forward to reading this. I'll get to this probably within the next few weeks. Then I've got Lucifer Book 2, uh, Spinning Out of Sandman. This is uh, Mike Carey's ongoing series. I think it ran around 70 issues or so. Uh, so Vertigo is re-releasing these. Uh, I'm guessing because of the... Uh, focus that's been lent to Sandman because I, it's had one of its anniversaries uh, and they put out the Omnibus and they're putting out the Sandman Overture, uh, they put out Lucifer as well, but uh, it's pretty awesome because the paperbacks are kind of hard to find for this and now they're putting them out in these nice thick paperbacks that you know collect over 15 issues per volume, so I read the first volume, I enjoyed that, so I'm, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this. It has a lot of cool artwork in there as well. And now for the bigger books. I talked about this one in another video, uh, but that video was not very good. There was a lag to it. Uh, the Planetary Omnibus. I got this uh, last week. I think it came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, Planetary is an amazing comic. Warren Ellis and John Cassidy. I actually sold all of my uh, the four volumes of the series in preparation to buy this one uh, because I love the series so much I knew I had to have the Omnibus. And I do not regret it one bit because this is a beautiful book. Cover, great cover art. The spine, it looks classy on your shelf. has a pretty nice back cover. The oversized uh, print for the artwork just, you know, it further makes John Cassidy's art pop. Uh, he's a fantastic artist. I've got the Astonishing X-Men that Omnibus with him and Joss Whedon that he did, and it's a beautiful book. 
Uh, so his artwork is great here, but one thing that I love is when the publishers really put some effort into making the cover underneath the dust jacket look nice, and they really did it with this planetary planetary guide. It looks like some sort of tome. Uh, and this little faux embossing on the cover and on the spine. So, I mean, it would look cool if, if you like to display your books without the... Uh, dust jacket it would look nice on your shelf like that uh, there's also they put it's something similar to what they did with the animal man omnibus between every chapter there is a little page of a quote and an image like a little splash page and then you get the cover and then it goes to the next chapter so it's a really well put together book uh, the binding looks pretty good. Uh, DC is definitely getting better on their binding, but it's still not Marvel on the most quality binding. Uh, if you're a fan of the series, I recommend putting down the money on it. It's 75 cover price. You can get it on in stock for about 40 now. Uh, the first week it was out, it's half price, so it was 37.50. dollars Pick it up if you're a fan. If you have never read it before, I really recommend it. Uh, it's a pretty cheap way of getting the entire series in one go, so I really recommend picking that up. Also, it includes, uh, I forgot to mention, it has the whole series plus the three one-shot issues, which had the uh, planetary characters crossing over with the Authority and uh, Batman, and I forget what the last one was, but... So it's, it's well worth it. It's the whole planetary saga in one thing. Uh, all right, next, I just got these next two books, these last two books, in the mail today. This is the X-Men Phalanx Covenant hardcover. It's another oversized X-Men hardcover from Marvel uh, in their attempts, as I mentioned before, to try and collect every X-Men issue in some sort of large book, whether it be a thick paperback or a nice oversized hardcover. Uh, I've never read this much like with the Onslaught uh, and a lot of the X-Men stuff that I'm collecting. I have no idea about the material that's inside of it. Uh, I know it's some good old 90s X-Men. Uh, it collects issues from basically every X-Book at the time. The Uncanny X-Men, Adjectiveless X-Men, Wolverine, Cable, X-Factor, X-Force. All those books, there's issues in here. And uh, So if you're a fan of the X-Men, this is a pretty nice looking book. It's got a... Uh, you know, the artwork looks pretty good for, you know, Joe Mad artwork right here. There's a lot of cool looking stuff in here. Uh, I'll have to talk about it, maybe a review of some sort when I actually read through it. But, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice looking book. It's a nice addition to the X-Men uh, hardcover collections. Uh, I've got several on my shelf. And then underneath the dust jacket is a nice wraparound cover of what they have on the dust jacket but just it wraps around and they got two images of Wolverine on there but we're not going to get mad at them because we love Wolverine and finally I've got the DMZ Deluxe Edition Volume 1 Brian Woods series from Vertigo I think it ran about 72 issues I never read it. I've heard a ton of good stuff about it. When they said or when they announced these deluxe editions, I had to jump on that because I prefer the oversized hardcovers rather than the uh, the paperbacks. They last longer. They look nicer on the shelf. Um, I don't know anything about how the series is, but it's a beautiful book. And I think my favorite thing about it is that they print it on not the glossy paper, but on kind of faux newsprint paper to match. Uh, what Vertigo actually publishes when they put out the books. Uh, so I'm running out of time to, for this video, but that's all I have for now. Uh, I'll have another order in uh, hopefully soon. Uh, I hope you all enjoy this video, and I'm hoping to make more in the future, and maybe I'll go back and talk about some older collections of mine. Uh, and hopefully I get a better place to shoot videos in the future as well, because I'm sitting in my kitchen. Uh, there's not a lot of light in here. But uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy it.